hello and welcome back to channel guys uh, today i'm going to show you how to make a massive and powerful uh, power supply or car charger for laptop for mobile phones or this laptop charger or power bank will be uh, with the few of these modules let me show you what is the design and the, all the components i'm going to show you first of all and this is uh, empty shell of the power bank uh, basically it was uh, without the batteries i bought it from aliexpress and uh, it was it came for i think three or four pounds british pounds and there was actually um, uh, both sides it has got the walls for the battery cells which we need to install and this was actually it battery cell uh, shell and also it had a, a small PCB for 1 amp and 2 amp uh, USB A and also type C etc etc what I'm going to use because uh, the, the originally it was not powerful enough and uh, the power supply it was showing only 1 amp which is which is too slow actually for my projects and for my need uh, because i have the drones i have the mobile phones and also i wanted to use the laptop as well while i'm on the move or i am putting on the desktop for uh, charging my devices all the devices which i'm using it these are one of one by one i'm going to show you and also all the devices uh, all the parts which I'm going to use in this project uh, they all of them they are uh, the links for the buying of these uh, items or modules they are in into the description and uh, as you can see I had made a couple of um, holes and cuttings and this side I'm keeping the original and why I'm keeping this original because uh, I had actually this module which was actually fitting into the proper hole which was which was original as you might be able to see okay so let me introduce all of them first of all so this um, shell is costing around four or five pounds uh, this is a module which you can see it's compatible with uh, several uh, protocols as you can see all of these and also uh, it is accepting from DC 6 volts up to 32 volts max and these are the connections for the input plus positive or negative uh, you can use on the both sides anyway it's the same thing both ports are USB type A and these are providing 22 or up to 30 uh, watts each port and uh, you can connect both uh, devices with uh, here for the charge uh, QC not the PD it's supported only QC and uh, they charge up to 30 watts maximum which I believe but 22.5 is most likely as you can see it's QC 2.0 and QC 3.0 MTK etc etc too, too many of these and the model number is here the link into the de description to the buy secondly I'm using two of these which are uh, these modules type C and these are actually both of them 65 watts each they both of them they are accepting DC 8 volts to 30 watts oh, sorry volts and they are providing 65 watts each module and uh, so 65 65 it makes like 130 plus at least you can consider 20 plus 20 so 120 130 plus 40 it makes like uh, 170 watts altogether plus uh, i'm using because uh, to get the full power from these modules you need to actually provide uh, input as uh, over 20 volts so what i am dis uh, doing it i'm using a boost converter 
which is also costing about a couple of pounds, not too much, which is very good. It has got the silver aluminium um, plate on the behind and uh, also it has got the components. This is for the um, for the amp adjustment and this is for the volts adjustment. And the thing is this, these are actually working with the adjustment actually increasing on the counter clock, uh, clockwise. Uh, not the normal as you might know that they mostly they are working on the clockwise Increasing and the counter clock is decreasing, but this these modules has got the uh, Potential met meter which is actually working on the opposite side So counter clock is increasing and clockwise is decreasing. So this uh, Meter is actually doing it like uh, to, to adjust the amps and this one is for the voltage so this is also the link is in the description to buy and also i'm using these two jacks uh, for the input and output on the both sides because uh, here you might be able to see i have one connection here uh, one will be input this will be in input uh, from 12 12 volts and another one I'm going to fit here, which is output, which will be actually this uh, output from the boost converter. And uh, what I'm planning to provide here, 12 volts, which is, you can see volt in, which is, uh, I, I'm using it for the 12 volts to use into the car and also in the home as well. And the output, I will fit uh, this uh, DC jack for the output as well because I'm using it for the 24 or 25 volts so 24 volts or 25 volts they are actually within the limit of these uh, modules because these are these are for 30 volts maximum and this module is accepting maximum 32 volts you might be able to see so 24 volts or 25 volts uh, to give them the uh, voltage it's very very reasonable and also they will provide proper watts uh, up to 65 these ones because if you provide them the less voltage then it will not uh, give them give you the proper um, performance of these uh, uh, 65 watts because they will work up to 30 watts if you provide them up to 20 volts then it will be 30 watts but if you go for over 20 volts, then it will provide 65 uh, watts, which is maximum of these uh, modules. I have already tested these and also I'm using on the other project as well. And they are working very, very nice. And uh, next thing, two of these, as I said, two of these. So these are two of these. So one will be uh, input for 12 volts and the other will be output and input for uh, 24 volts and secondly I'm using two of these digital uh, voltmeters which will be one for input which will be obviously as I said before one will be input uh, which is 12 volts and here I can see how many voltage I'm getting from this module uh, which will be obviously as I said before 24 to 25 volts so with this 25 volts actually I can charge a 24 volts uh, battery uh, you know a battery uh, pack from here as well or I can use even reverse to this uh, bank which will be able to uh, you know provide this kind of power so basically I can use both jacks but obviously one by one not the two at a time but both jacks i can use uh, input 12 volts then it will be converted by this uh, uh, boost converter it will convert the 25 volt uh, sorry 24 or 25 volts and a similar way if i wanted to connect another battery pack which will be uh, 24 volts uh, 6s battery pack or uh, from 18 650 or 26 650 something like this kind of batteries so we can use from here as well uh, for the input and also out, uh, output as well now next these two meters as i said before we are going to use one will be input here which i'm thinking i made the holes so one will be here and uh, second is here 
it will be good design as well I believe so and uh, these modules one I am using here sorry the holes they are slightly outlines but they can be covered uh, with the uh, kind of uh, papers or something and the second one here and the third one is here and this is the proper design which I'm making at the moment so this is the design this is also uh, I'm going to fit with the fan as well because these things are going to be like uh, hot up to 70 or 80 Celsius so what I wanted to use this fan onto this place because I seen there is a little bit place here to put the fan in and uh, I can use it so fan will be uh, triggered with uh, uh, this switch which is a uh, MOSFET type and it is uh, 50 Celsius which I decided uh, otherwise fan will be just uh, off meanwhile if I'm using this you know these kind of components and uh, everything gets hot for example as soon as it gets to the 50 Celsius the fan will trigger and it will be turned on on the 12 volts not the 24 volts because the fan is uh, it's a 12 volt and uh, that's the thing which I'm going to make let me connect everything and uh, put the wiring in there and uh, it will be fitted very soon let me show you into the part two thank you very much see you in the next video when it is completed bye